Alrighty, Miss Guy, should we get going? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, everybody. Hi, this is Miss Shepherd and Miss Guy. Oh my gosh, I think we should go. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Um, so this is round two of senior webinar time. So like last time, please make sure that if you have any questions, you put them in the Q&A feature. Uh, we will get to as many as we can before advisory is over. This is being recorded, so we will post it on our website. The recording from last time's webinar is available at this website listed here, as well as any other senior information you might know, uh, need to know. All righty, let's go. Wow, this list used to be a lot longer, but time is flying. And so keep your calendars marked. There's a couple of dates left. We've gotten a lot of questions about prom that's coming up on May 21st. We will get to that. Um, if you are taking a night school course at Case, right next door to Del Mar, remember the last day of your course is May 26th. That is a Thursday. You need to have all of your finals taken care of, your homework, projects completed, everything turned in by May 26th. What is also happening or starting on that day is senior finals. All seniors will complete their finals. May 26th and 27th. Those are your last two days that you are attending your academic classes, you're taking your finals, everything must be turned in by then. The following week on May 31st, you will come back to campus to do senior checkout, followed by graduation practice on May 31st, June 1st, and June 2nd, because that is the official day when it's all happening. <laughs> As part of the required checkout, about 50% of students have already done this. Great job. The senior survey is a required part of checkout from Del Mar High School. It is due May 31st, the day that you come in for senior checkout. If you don't have it done when you come for checkout the morning of May 31st, you will be doing it then. So please take care of it ahead of time. You can do it from your phone if that's easier or on your Chromebook. The survey is posted in your Naviance account. It's right on the homepage when you log in. It's important for a lot of reasons. Um, one of the biggest ones is that when seniors graduate and they plan to attend college or they're going to internships or different programs and they need a transcript or their IB scores sent, we use the information that you include on the senior survey so that we know where to send that information. So please make sure that you fill it out before May 31st. Prom. Okay, everybody, we're closing in on prom. It's coming. It's happening. So just a reminder that uh, this is the address for prom. It is an off-campus dance. <clears throat> it's May 21st from 6 to 10 p.m. Dinner is included in the price of your ticket. This is the last week to buy prom tickets. So the prices are listed here. It's $120 with an ASB card and $130 without. Uh, the last, absolute last time to buy a ticket is Friday. Uh, we will not sell tickets at the door of prom. Every single person who enters the prom needs to bring an ID, a valid ID with your face and your name. Um, and your guest needs to have one as well. So make sure that um, people often say, do we need to bring our receipt or do we need to bring this ticket we got? Your ID is your kind of like ticket into the dance. We have a list of everybody who bought a ticket and then we will verify that it is you and then you can come into the dance. Um, if you are on social probation, you will not be admitted into the dance. We will be checking social, oh, I forgot we did a slide on this. Yay, here we go. It's as if I made the slideshow with you. Um, so once you hit eight or more unclear tardies, you are on social probation. So um, it is imperative that you, clear your tardies and social probation will go all the way to the end of the year. So if you wanna to go to senior sunset or any of the other senior events, um, including prom, make sure that you clear your tardies. Uh, lunch detention is room 81. So make sure that you do that. Please also remember that sometimes you could be tardy and not get the pink slip. That doesn't mean that you weren't marked tardy. So we use the system that teachers take attendance in and we generate those reports and that's how we know who needs to be at detention. So even if you walk in late, but you didn't get a pink slip, you were still probably marked late. So you need to make sure that you stay on top of um, clearing those detentions. And if you are um, on social probation after the 13th and you have not been clearing your detentions, um, 
we are not going to be issuing any refunds for prom tickets after 513. So just keep that in mind because we have to give them a head count and we pay for the final amount of people who bought tickets. Hi, Mr. Lopez. There he is. Um, Hi. There's also a good question. Digital IDs are fine. So we rolled out Minga, which is the digital ID card. If you downloaded that app, that's actually preferred, please. If you don't want to, if you're someone who loses your ID card or whatever, that's why we got that digital ID app. Um, you can also take a picture of your physical ID card. Just make sure it's very clear that we can see the whole thing, your face, your name, all of that stuff. Um, but yes, a digital ID card is fine. And that it is your ID card from this school year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't bring the don't bring the old ones. We need updated pictures. Get all that information. Um, also, a question in the chat about students who are taking SVCTE, how they can clear their tardies. I'm guessing this is if you're in the afternoon session, you're leaving a little bit before lunchtime. But if you relate to the first couple periods of the day, uh, if you were in afternoon SVCTE and you're not here for lunch detention, I would say let's check in or check in with your assistant principal, and we'll find an alternative way for you to clear those. Awesome. All right. Next. They're coming, everybody. They're almost here. As we mentioned before, all seniors are taking their finals on Thursday, May 26th and Friday, May 27th. You also have advisory Wednesday, May 25th. As we've been doing here, we've been giving out all of our important information to students through advisory. Your attendance and advisory is mandatory. It also counts towards your social probation, so make sure that you are there and on time. Night school courses, as we mentioned, also end on May 26th. When we talk about the date of Friday, May 27th, that is the date that counselors are making phone calls home to families, letting them know if their students have not passed a required course for graduation. So you're taking your finals on Thursday, May 26th and Friday, May 27th. Senior grades are due from teachers on Friday, May 27th. So we will know by that date if students have passed all of their required classes for graduation. If you are working on makeup work, projects, tests, anything else that you are working on with your teachers, you must finish it by Friday, May 27th. So if you're in contact with your teachers now about anything else that you're working on or turning in, great, that's exactly what you should be doing, but you have until Friday, May 27th, we will be notifying families on that date if students are not eligible to graduate and participate in the graduation ceremony. And if they need to do summer school, we'll talk about how to sign up for that if it's needed. Then we'll see you again on Monday. Monday, May 31st, as we mentioned, is when senior checkout will be happening starting at 7.45 a.m. on campus. Seniors will be done with their finals, but the rest of the school will still be attending classes. So we ask that you please do not disrupt other students. We know it's very exciting to be almost done, but the rest of the school will still be in class. So please make sure that you're quiet when you come onto campus. You can bring your charged Chromebook, your charger, a hotspot if you have one, your textbooks, any athletic equipment or uniforms that you might have, all of those will need to be turned in on that day, as well as we'll be checking to make sure that you have completed your senior survey in Naviance. If you haven't by that date, you will do it live when you come for senior checkout. So save yourself some time and do it ahead of time. Um, you can also pay your fines ahead of time or check to see if you have them. Um, Ms. Becerra Jimenez is in room 49, where you can email her to find out if you have fines or ask any questions about what you might still have checked out to you that you need to make sure that you turn in. Right after senior checkout, we'll have our first graduation practice. So once you come onto campus, you complete senior checkout, you will then head into the bowl, um, the stadium to get ready for graduation practice. Speaking of. Graduation practice. Okay, so May 31st, as Ms. Guy said, is our first graduation practice. We will start immediately following senior checkout. So it is imperative that you are on time to senior checkout. You move through the line. Please don't show up to senior checkout at 8.50. It may take you more than 10 minutes to get through. You need to come at 7.45 when it starts and go through the line. The earlier that we get into graduation practice, the earlier that we get out. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, we will have three practices. Something will happen at each of these three that will be very important to you. So the first one, you're gonna pick your seat. You can sit by your friends. Um, you do not sit in alphabetical order, so that will be the first day. The second day, uh, we will run through the entire ceremony and we will give you your graduation tickets at the end if your all of your fines are paid and all of your books and everything are turned in. And then the final day is our sound check. That's when we do a last run through of the whole ceremony. And then we will give you your diploma after, and I'll talk about that in a minute. 
Um, so it is imperative that you are on time and that you are there every single practice. All of them are mandatory. When Mr. Lopez and I went around to the classrooms this uh, past week, we did share this with you as well. But just a reminder, you need to treat those like regular school days. So please schedule any appointments, hair appointments, meeting with a family who's coming out from out of town, whatever the case may be, please schedule that for what would be after the regular school day. I don't think we will be here that long, but we need to plan as if, um, because I cannot guarantee you when we will get out of grad practice. Um, again, I've gone over all of this before, but it will be hot. Please bring snacks, drinks, um, water, a hat, sunscreen, all of that stuff, because you do sit there down there for kind of a while and you are down in the bowl where there is no shade. Um, but I cannot stress enough, these are mandatory and your attendance and your timeliness is very important. Mr. Lopez, do you have anything to add about grad practice? Yeah, I will say one of the questions we got is why is it so early? The later we do it, the hotter it's going to be. So we te technically do it early because the thing is, is that if we were to do it at noon, like that's some of the hottest time and it has gotten up to the 80s and 90s when we've done it in the morning at like nine o'clock. So we are trying to save everybody from not having extremely hot practices. So um, that's one of the reasons why we do it early. And then I think for, I'm not sure if this was mentioned, but yeah, wear your shoes. And then if you bring like water and a snack, the first two days are usually the longest. So we typically go um, almost the entire time of finals. So it's good to have something that you've eaten or, you know, bring a snack or something or some water to drink because it does get warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then just to reiterate, there is a question about tickets. You will get your tickets on June 1st after graduation practice. So once you get those on June 1st, um, after you've turned in everything at senior checkout and we verified that, we will hand them out on June 1st directly following grad practice. And then we will open up the student store at that time for you to buy any extras. Um, okay, diplomas. So I don't know if this is like something that people know, but every year I like to remind everybody, you don't actually get your physical, actual high school, high school diploma when you cross the stage. You get what is seen in this photo, you get the diploma case. So the thing that you will put the paper in, but it's empty. And that's because we don't want you to lose it. That piece of paper is very important. Graduation can be very chaotic at the end and we don't want someone to put theirs down and then not have your diploma. So we will hand out diplomas after graduation practice on June 2nd. So the final day of grad practice, the day of the ceremony, you will go through your full grad practice. And then at the end, we will have you line up in alphabetical order and we will distribute diplomas to you um, so you, then you can take it home, get ready for graduation, come back for the ceremony and you will be like this person in this photo crossing the stage, getting an empty diploma holder, but don't be worried that it's empty because that's how it's supposed to be. You will have the, you will have your physical diploma already in your possession before the ceremony on June 2nd. And that's just to keep you from losing it or having anything happen to it at the ceremony. Big show, graduation is June 2nd at 5 p.m. It is in the bowl. Students must arrive at 3.30 to the cafeteria. Your cap and gown needs to be with you. Please have your gown, like don't you don't need to have it on yet because we will check to make sure that um, students haven't brought anything with them that they shouldn't have. Um, but you can have your cap on. And then once we check everybody in, you can put your gown on in the cafeteria. Um, Please do not, I, I've said this a bunch of times, I'm going to repeat it, and families, if you're listening to this, I want to make sure that you hear this as well. Once students are in the cafeteria, it is really important that they don't leave that area. Um, we want to make sure that we're, we don't lose track of anybody so that when it's time to line up and get in order to walk down to the field, we are not missing anybody. So what this means is students, you need to make sure that every person that needs a ticket for graduation has it before this time. Don't have any in your possession that you're waiting to give to somebody. Um, families, if you have any lays or any items you'd like your student to wear for the ceremony, please give it to them before they get to the staging area because we don't want people going in and out of the cafeteria. Um, and lastly, students, don't bring anything extra with you. Please don't bring a backpack, a purse, um, 
like extra jackets or anything because you're going to walk down to the field with just yourself and um, we will not be going back to the cafeteria. We're going to lock it up and we won't be headed back up there. So you won't have a place to leave anything behind. So just come with the minimal items. We'll put waters down the field because it does get hot um, at graduation. So we will make sure you have water down there. Um, you shouldn't really need anything else. Just your cap, your gown, anything you're wearing over your gown. And um, that's really it. I mean, you can bring your phone. I'm not, not going to take phones, but you know, that's up to you. Kits. We talked a lot already, but this is just reminder 10 for free. Once you've gone through senior checkout and, and passed all of those stations, everything extra is $2 at the student store. We will open the student store June 1st and 2nd after graduation practice. And this is a reminder that the graduating senior needs to be the one to purchase the tickets. So um, like I said, please work with your families to figure out how many that you need because you are going to be the one that needs to come buy them. And we will not sell tickets to any families or anybody um, else who is not the graduating senior. And we will not sell tickets to other Del Mar students who are not graduating seniors. So you need, if you want someone there, you need to buy their ticket. I think I went over all of this again. Did I miss anything about graduation? Mr. Lopez, do you have anything to add? Uh, they get, the students get to keep their gowns and caps, correct? Yes. The cap and gown is yours. Great. Um, no, and I think the biggest thing is for the staging area, make sure that you have everything that you need to go down. Um, no one should be bringing stuff to you while we're walking out mm -hmm. um, to the ceremony. So please plan accordingly. Everything that you need for graduation, make sure you have when um, you get dropped off. Um, and then also the big thing, Parking is very chaotic. Mm -hmm. So plan on a place that you're meeting your family after the ceremony, like in the quad or something specific. And then as a reminder, across the street, they do ticket and tow cars. So um, you have to either park on our campus or on Del Mar Avenue, but avoid parking across the way. They have towed and ticketed people in the past. So just wanted to remind people about that. Yes. And also speaking of the live stream that's listed on here, um, that website that I mentioned in the very beginning on slide one on our Del Mar website where all senior information is posted, like this recording, all of those things. The once we get the link from the company who's live streaming it, we will post it there so you can share it with friends and family or whoever um, can't make it to the physical ceremony, it will be live streamed. Rum royalty. So um there is a QR code here, as well as a bit.ly if you don't have the option to scan the QR code. Um, ASB would like for you to nominate students for prom royalty, so you can do that there. Um, I'll, we'll just leave this up for like a split second just for you to get the, the bit.ly. The bit.ly is case sensitive. Um, and also, again, there's a QR code there to, to nominate folks for um, prom royalty. Speaking of um, coming back to prom, we do have a couple of questions about checking tardies um, or how do students know the, their status with, so, with social probation so if they can check it in Aries or how else they can find out. Yeah, so um, you teachers, if you're watching this and you want to help students, you can definitely check tardies in Aries, but what the assistant principals have um, is a list of, um, a student may have tardies, but what we can see on our end is if they've cleared them with detentions. So that won't be cleared in Aries. Um, so we, if, if students have questions, you can always talk to your assistant principal. We've been sending out um, passes to students as you accumulate tardies and once you hit social probation. Um, but if you are not sure or you haven't gotten a pass and you're still a little unsure if you're on social probation, the best person to talk to is your assistant principal. They can tell you exactly how many you have how many detentions are not cleared and um, how close you are if you're if you're in danger of being on social probation. And I just want to really reiterate, even if you buy a ticket by the 13th, we will still be checking uh, attendance all the way to the day of prom. So that whole week after leading up to prom counts towards your social probation. So you really need to be mindful of your um, tardies then as well.
social probation effects. Um, yeah, it does affect other events. Um, senior sunset is another one as well, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, if if people are if folks are having trouble accessing the prom royalty link, they might have to um, log in with their CUHSD account. Mm -hmm. And it is case sensitive, so make sure you're capitalizing the the same letters. I just checked it, and it works if you're using the the case sensitive. But yes, make sure that you're using your CUHSD email address. Okay, I think we can go. I'll send this slide out senior teachers as well, so you can post it for students. Um, okay, and then the next slide is speaking of senior sunset. So this is a free event hosted by our PTSA. Um, we're super fortunate that they're doing this for the seniors. This is going to be super fun. There will be tacos, a 360 photo booth, mini golf, air hockey, all kinds of fun um, things. This is from seven to 10 on May 27th. And this is really just a chance for you to all get together and hang out and, and celebrate being done with finals and being done with your high school classes. And um, it's gonna be super fun. So you do need to bring an ID for entry and you do need to RSVP so that we know how many uh, to plan for in terms of like tacos and all of that. So um, make sure again, social probation does um, apply to this, but make sure that you RSVP there and that you join us. It's a super fun free event and it should be a really good time. It's gonna be down in the bowl um, and yeah, it's going to be super fun. I mean, who doesn't want a taco and air hockey? Air hockey. I definitely sounds amazing. <laughs> um, okay, you should have gotten your cap and gown by now. If you did not pick it up on April 27th in advisory, I sent them to your history classes or a class that um, if you don't have a history class. So if you are still somebody maybe who didn't order or you um, came to Del Mar late, you didn't get a chance to place an order for one and you just do not have a cap and gown in your possession, go to room 28, you do have extras. We have caps, we have gowns of all sizes. And if your cap and gown does not fit, we also have extras so you can go swap it out, but make sure you do that before the day of the ceremony. I know. Mr. Lopez, do you wanna talk about this with just like decorating caps, what they can wear? Yeah. So um, a couple of years back, I think actually at the start of the pandemic, we moved to students being able to decorate their caps, which has been very popular. Um, so we're going to continue the tradition. The biggest thing that I would say for caps is just make sure that you make conscious decisions of what you're putting on there. So if there's anything that we deem inappropriate, we will ask you to swap out your hat. Um, the day of graduation and give you a plain one, um, or we'll, or we won't be able to have you participate in the ceremony. Um, and then also regalia, as you see um, with the lays and other things that uh, families may give you to wear, um, we do allow you to wear that um, for the ceremony. As a reminder, though, we do ask that you get the stuff before heading out to the field. Um, I don't want any family members hopping over the fence running down the football field to give you the stuff that they forgot to give you earlier. So if you don't get it before the ceremony, you're going to get it after. So um, I just ask that you be mindful, like, don't make plans to meet up with people because once you're in, you're in for good and we get people lined up. So um, if you are planning on wearing any of that, just make sure you coordinate that with your family um, and get it before you get dropped off um, for graduation. All right. That's it. We did it, everybody. With five minutes to spare if you have questions. If you do have questions, you can either put them in the chat here. Um, if you have questions about your grades, your graduation status, you can reach out to your counselor. Um, Ms. Shembri, of course, is here for senior events graduation. If there are still questions about yearbook, you can contact Ms. Chase. She is the yearbook advisor. Yay. We're almost there, everybody. <laughs> Yay. There's a question here. Uh, just a reminder, senior sunset is May 27th and it is uh, from seven to 10 in the bowl. And IDs are required for entry as well as RSVP. Got to know how many tacos to order. I mean, plan for. So exciting. 
Any other questions? We still have a few minutes left in advisory. We want to make sure we answer any questions you may have. And if you didn't hear something that we said and you're like, what did they say? I don't remember. The good news is we're recording this and we will hopefully post it um, tomorrow on our website. Um, our dogs permitted service dogs are allowed in our graduation ceremony, um, but service animals only. All right, everybody, we are so proud of you. We can't wait to celebrate you. We're almost there. Finish strong. You got this. And make sure you attend all advisories coming up because if we have any last minute announcements, we will say them. Um, Ms. Chatfield has a good question. Yes, babies are free. Anybody over two needs a ticket. All right, everybody. Thank you for coming. We'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody.